Just check we're live. Two seconds, guys. Yeah. Right, I believe we are live. So, hello, everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, so, we've been doing regular slots of companies coming in and talking about products and just find it really, really helpful. And I'm pleased to say we've got a dream team of Bartoline that's come in. Um, we've got Charles, Neil, and Ahmed. And we're going to talk about your products because like I said before we come on you know I, I looked in the back of my van I cleared it out the other day first time for ages and I'm like ah oh, Bartoline Bartoline I didn't realize half the stuff you've done and it'd be good to um, get to know exactly what you do a bit of background about your company and um, I believe Ahmed you're gonna start us off but I appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you very much thank you Gary and uh, thank you for inviting us on uh, today um, so, so yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a background, a bit of a background about Bartoline. Uh, we've been we've been around for a long time, 145 years since 1876. Um, we're sort of a manufacturer of decorating sundries, so that's everything from uh, we're a manufacturer and supplier of decorating sundries. So that's everything from solvents. So you're talking your white spirit, your pure turpentine, your methylated spirits, uh, to fillers. So that being all your sort of uh, all-purpose fillers, exterior fillers. Uh, to your adhesives as well. So everything from more covering adhesives, uh, PVA, uh, wood glue, um, to wood care as well. So tea coil, your linseed oils, um, et cetera. And also some other solvents like paraffin uh, and some, uh, some say, garden care or home care products like fungicide or wash, uh, et cetera. Altogether, we've got around 171 products uh, in our core range, of course, we do do some private labeling of other products as well. Uh, but our core range is around 171 products. And um, back in March 2021, so we were family owned business for 145 years. Back in 2021, March 2021, uh, we were taken over by Endless LLP, uh, an investment firm. And uh, they've pumped quite a bit of money. They pumped quite uh, a bit of money into our range. Uh, and they've created a bit of a VCP, a value creation plan, which includes operations. So we've had a lot of improvements to our operations uh, within the factory efficiencies. Uh, we've had a lot of people changes. So our managing director, Paul Robbins, who was uh, previously sales and marketing director at Axel Nobel. Uh, so we've got some very good leadership, very good management. Uh, and also NPDs. That was the third thing on the value creation plan, or just part of it, should I say. And that was uh, that included new products. So last year, sort of mid last year, we launched 1876, the professional range, which to summarize it very briefly is a range that was created for the decorator and for the builder and for any other tradesperson uh, to, to make use of uh, really in terms of price, very competitive, but at the same time, a very, very good quality, decent product to, to make use of. Um, and like you said, Gary, a lot of our products are used currently, be it our decorators, cork, sealants, um, wall covering adhesives. Just sometimes some people might not be aware uh, of us as a, as a brand, but we are growing. Our social media presence is growing. Uh, you know, we've got Neil Pipes today joining us, who's our technical manager. Uh, you know, he's put together some, some, uh, some, uh, he's sort of our technical wizard. Uh, and then, of course, you've got Charles, who's our, um, who's our marketing wizard, and he's put together some really good uh, campaigns on social media. And of course, part of that is working with yourself as well, Gary. So we help to really, uh, to really drive things forward uh, for 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 the community on uh, on brush wizards as well through all the work we're doing. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. And, you know, I'm particularly keen to learn more about the 1876 range. And, you know, I know about it, but um, people probably watching won't know so much about it. So what does it contain? What What's in what's in those products? So essentially, um, it, 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 part of the products that we were previously doing anyway, so be it uh, PVA, for example, we took the PVA uh, and uh, probably Neil and, and, and his team, increase the concentration of that PVA. So the eight, the PVA that we have in the 1876 range is a 34% solid content uh, versus what previously was a 28% solid content. So it's more concentrated, five to one ratio. Uh, you've also got the wall covering adhesives, some of which were uh, specced up, uh, that being the heavy duty red top, uh, or sorry, the medium duty head, the red top, or the light duty yellow top, uh, the light duty being for your your standard wallpapers, uh, and then your red top being more for your uh, sort of embossed or or fabric backed uh, vinyls. Uh, so, essentially, what we've done with with 
uh, increase the specification on some of the 1876 range to make it better suited for the tradesperson and to give them a better finish using our products. Um, but at the same time, making sure that the price is competitive and, and suitable for the trade. Yeah, nice. That, that about sums it up, Gary. Yeah, really. Hammond's got it on point there. Rather than the DIY retail market, the, the trade, we, 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 we seem to we understand that it's a bit more discerning. So the products are, are just slightly revamped uh, and better quality. Yeah, perfect. And um, hopefully you can see me because uh, you, 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 my camera is... This looks like I've pixelated. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. It, 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 it is a little bit... It is a little bit funny, sort of. Uh, you, you, um, it is frozen at times, um, like I'm, Neil said. I'm back now, I believe. Yeah, I've there got go, a problem with go. my um, camera, which I need to sort out because I look like a robot, uh, sort of <laughs> freezing. But um, yeah, so just as a decorator, you know, um, perhaps wanting to try your products out, where do you predominantly sell? Uh, so we we supply we supply a lot of the nationals, uh, sort of with our standard range, but 1876 range, the professional range. At the moment, uh, you probably find it most within a lot of independents. Um, because I'm the regional sales manager for for the South, uh, so you find in quite a few decorator decorators merchants uh, South. You've got Coleman uh, Coleman Brothers, you've got JDC Paints, uh, you've got a few wholesalers as well. So we, 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 our distribution is uh, is growing day by day. Yeah, and I know Color Supplies who Color have Supplies been part of great right, from yeah. from day one um, stock it as well. So that's that's good. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, and Color Supplies are one of our um, one of our good customers and they've been distributing our products for uh for some time as well. So hopefully we've got some work to do uh, to do as well there. I did I did forget to mention a, a very a very uh a, a very good product that we came out with last year. Uh given that paint stripper is one of our best uh, best sellers, uh the team, uh, you know, Neil and the rest of the team along with our marketing team decided our product team um put together a a paint stripper which is our paint predator okay and it is a water-based methanol chloride free uh, paint stripper but the great thing about it is water-based it's methanol chloride free uh comes around half the cost of, of of the solvent solvent strippers but it it does it can do up to three layers our fast action ver version can do up to three layers in half an hour and our heavy duty version of that paint stripper can do up to 20 layers in 24 hours. Uh, and also the great thing about it, despite it being water-based, it works exceptionally well with uh, with solvent-based paints. So definitely a product that, uh, that I think the decorators should uh, should go after. If you're looking for a product at a competitive price, but at the same time, that works very effectively. Uh, and in fact, we've had quite a few quite a few of the influencers who've um, who promoted some of our uh, 1876 products just as a review. They've done a review on it. Uh, and they sort of they, they they can they've highlighted that. Yeah, good stuff. And sorry, I'm I'm almost off put by me pixelating and having a fit in the corner here. But uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh, it's all fine. good. I, I I can hear you, which is fine. Um, but you just have to excuse me, kind of uh, freaking out a little bit. But um, yeah, so that's a good product. I mean, there's been a few posts in the group where. Um, people have mentioned about paint stripper and I have tagged you guys in um, because I was aware I haven't used it myself personally but I was aware you've got a really good product as well um, yeah one of the other products as well um, which I've been speaking to Charles about is of course we always need wallpaper adhesive um, and probably not a lot of members are aware of your ready mixed adhesives as well which are well worth a try yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll let um, I'll let Charles and Neil take that one in terms of a bit more detail on the on the wall covering adhesives, but uh, but they are quite popular. We do we do um, we do distribute them quite a lot. Like I've mentioned, a few of the a few of our suppliers and distributors. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll let I'll let Charles and Neil take that away. So I'll go with that then, Charles. Charles, um, as you mentioned earlier, Gary, at B line are probably the, the the best known trade producer of, of wall covering adhesives. Yeah. Um. What you maybe don't know is that for a short while, so a AFS Morecambe, the seas trading for a while, and we stepped into the breach for two years. There were, there were some noticeable differences that by some of the decorators, but generally it was just a seamless transition and nobody knew the difference. Um, so our yellow and red lid are very, very similar to the bead line material in both composition and performance. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, some historical some historical 
intertwining. Prior to my time, I've been here 20 years, but before that, I'm pretty sure that the, we, we use basically the same feedstock and raw materials and, and formulations. Um, very, very much doubt that, that people will see a difference. It's just the name. It's a name only, really, that the B-Line is, is, is seemed to be the market leader in this, in this instance. But I think both of us are better than some of the more well-known names, personally. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And like you say, it's just about probably a mixture of, um, you know, what's mentioned on social media and also what's available in local paint merchants, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that sometimes somebody will use a Barcelona red lid and not realize the difference between a B line. They're probably thinking they're using B line, um, yeah. and, and not and not actually realizing that they are different products. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> one area I wanted to cover. So you know, paints have changed massively over the years, and you know, people moving away from oil based and more water based. But you get like hybrid paints as well, which yeah. actually ruin brushes in many ways. Um, do you have an answer to all us painters which struggle with our <laughs> brushes once we've used hybrid and more often than not i just have to chuck them away i, I struggle to I get mean, have clean. You tried clean spirit i mean clean spirits are, it's, it, it's not it's pretty innovative it's been around for a few years now um but there are competitors but we we think our our clean spirit is, is as good if not better than than most out there it's an environmentally friendly version of white spirit so mm -hmm. it would work with both hybrids it would work with water-based solvents and hybrid paints it should do it would be nice to get some feedback gary if possible yeah have, yeah. You, have you tried it yourself i haven't no um yeah. i tend to I, I ended up moving away from hybrids um purely because it was i got fed yeah. up and my brushes being yeah. ruined but you know yeah. some of them are really really good to use in terms of opacity and stuff so i would certainly give it a go definitely yeah yeah and, you, you may find it is it's the answer to, to your hybrid problems yeah yeah yeah, be amazing. Market, we? Couldn't we? yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're, you're going to sell uh, lorry loads if it does. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I'll just I'll just put my little two cents in uh, with with the with the clean spirit. Uh, of course, we, we we've been uh, similar similar to what happened with the paints and everything. Uh, you know, over the years, moving from from oil based to water based, uh, we've had that same transition of few you know few decorators or few customers not a massive amount uh, moving from sort of oil-based products to water-based products and i know there might be a bit of inertia there where people are used to certain consistencies certain type of product performances uh, but what i would say is in terms of the clean spirit we've uh, of course we we reformulated it with our new new one that we launched last year and it is uh it's biodegradable uh, so you can pretty much pour it down the sink uh, it's non-toxic uh, and what I like to what what I like to sort of the the how I like to describe it, even though I haven't got much hair left to myself, but it works a bit of a, a, a sort of a two in one shampoo and conditioner. Uh, <laughs> you know, your 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 white spirit is great in terms of it. It sort of uh, you know, it works as your shampoo. It cleans very well. It cleans your brush or solvents very well. But in terms of the conditioning element, doesn't do much of that. Uh, whereas with the clean spirit, it kind of cleans, so it will clean the brush or clean the surface that has paint on it uh, or solvent on it. But at the same time, it will condition that brush uh, and it will make it flow a little bit better. Maybe I can use my beard as an example for that, um, where it might give it a bit more of a shine and, and, and condition it, the bristles back to their uh, to their former state, uh, if, if I can say that. I might try it on my bald head, bald head, you know, it might make it grow back. You never know. <laughs> Listen, if, if, if that's a miracle, then I think me, me, Neil and yourself will be on to a good one today. <laughs> we we'll go on track and step. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Maybe, a, maybe a product idea there. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's great. And I, I definitely hundred percent will try it because it is a, is a problem. And also I think in general, just water-based paints tend to stiffen up your brushes. And, you know, when I'm cabinet painting, I tend to just buy new ones every sort of after, you know, a few jobs using them. So it'd be nice to have something to sort of revive your brushes for sure and save a bit of money. Um, another, you know, obviously you do cork. Um, cork is mentioned tons in our groups. You know, we need it to be um, working efficiently, you no know, cracking or crazing because, you know, it costs us time and money to resolve those sort of problems. So, um, I, I much feedback on it that the cork yeah. issue with crazing and cracking Gary tends to be more when um, when the cork's being applied and then painted over and the cork moves and the paint doesn't so if it's a highly filled paint 
like your trade type paints where they've got um, fillers in there so that the, the cork moves and the paint doesn't and then it cracks. Yeah. I think that, that's the issue sometimes. I don't think it's the cork, personally. I think it <clears> tends to be the paint. Well, I would disagree to a degree. Oh, sure. I haven't used loads of them, so no, yeah. not mentioning any brands, but you know, I could do a, a kitchen cabinet job where I have to cork up against the walls or wherever between the, the carcasses and certain brands, I could do the same process, paint it like, you know, leave sufficient drying time. And even, yeah. even just recently, actually, I had a guy, I was doing a kitchen, mine was all fine. Um, I was using, I won't mention names because it's not fair you guys, well, but I was using right. a well-known brand in our group. And he used another brand, which I used to use, both on the same job, same processes, and same he's paint. cracked, same paint, right. he's yeah, cracked right. badly. And, and and did the cork did the crack before it was painted or just post-painting? Post. So when yeah. when an application on top of it, it, it cracked. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I'll get what you're saying for sure, 100%, and I'm sure that is the case in many situations, um, but there are certain corks which really are problematic when you paint over. Okay. Okay. So years years ago, I would seem to bin all my corked areas before I, I painted it just to kind of yeah. firm it up, seal it up. Okay. And have you, have you had a chance to use ours yet, our new range? No, not yet. But I will. Okay. 100%. I think I'm should supply with some to try. Yeah, we're definitely going to be we're going to be sending over some uh, we're going to be sending over some samples to Gary. Uh but just just sort of add, add on to the to the cork there. Uh with our new 1876 cork, uh we used to do a previous cork before that. You might still still see some of our old stuff in the market. Um and that was a 7.5% flex that had the 7.5% flexibility to it. Um, so it's a, it was slightly lower spec. The new one that we do, uh, the great thing about it is it's interior. It's suitable for interior, exterior use. Uh, it's got fungicide in it, so it's uh, it's anti mold. Uh, and and thirdly, it's got twelve and a half percent flex. Yeah. So it's a bit more uh, appealing to those decorators maybe who who who'd want a you know n none of that cracking or grazing or or sort of as the seasons change over and you have you know you have your expansion or contraction. Uh, that twelve and a half percent flex, you say five percent more than then your sort of cheaper end entry level cork uh it, it could it could uh it could be very beneficial could be very beneficial yeah yeah i mean i'm no technical kind of nerd but that's on par with you know what i've read about the corks i'm using so you know that's exactly the same so that that's brilliant yeah yeah sounds good all right cool um i was just seeing if anyone's got any questions um a lot taking the mick out of me for my me freezing and looking at <laughs> Looking a bit like Max Headroom. <laughs> well, at, least, at, at least you've added a bit of entertainment to it today, isn't it? Oh, I always do. Oh, it, was that part of your wizardry, was it today? Yeah, you know, there's always um, something going wrong. Max Headroom, weren't they? But I'm a painter, you know, I don't know all this tech stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, any anything else you guys want to cover? I mean, you know, what we've spoken about, a wallpaper adhesive, cork, you know, the stripper, all stuff we use on a regular basis, clean, you know, the white spirit, clean spirit. Um, the, the website, if you want to, I mean, we have some videos on there, don't we, Charles, such as the clean spirit, et cetera, et cetera. Just, just to get a feel of what it is that we do, if anybody wants to have a look. Um, and then obviously they can contact us if they want to find a, a supplier, a local supplier, we can do yeah. that for them. Yeah. Yeah. And It'd be nice to get feedback as well, Gary, if possible. Because yeah, we, absolutely. Nothing set in stone. If we do, we we do our best as we can. So the, the way we see it is it um, appearance, performance, usability, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, within a within a price constraint, we, we we can make everything perfect, but it's yeah. it's not always perfect. And if if some of your 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 followers find that there's an issue, it'd be good to know as well. Yeah, well, we can speak after and just work out a way where perhaps we can, you know, get some people trying some stuff out and. Um, yeah getting some feedback that'd be brilliant that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. and um as a side note as well I'll, I'll speak to charles a fair bit and we've you know he helps out in um you know like i've got membership and we're doing bits in there but i know you also do a car cleaning range and it, I, I feel it's worth mentioning because a lot of people in my group they take pride in their vans and stuff and um you know some of them i'm, I'm really jealous there's a guy recently bought one amazing van and uh, it's probably worth mentioning that you do some car cleaning 
products as well. Yeah, so the car cleaning range is, uh, at the moment, it's being sold on Amazon uh, direct. Uh, however, um, there is discussion. It might be, I uh, can't get into the details, but it might be, might not be available uh, sort of through through other channels and other distribution uh, sort of through other channels. Uh, but at the moment, it's just it's just on Amazon. Um, in terms of any technicality, uh, any technical uh, sort of technicalities that will probably be nil or any sort of the marketing side that will probably be Charles. Yeah, I guess as long as it uh, does a good job and uh, cleans well, well, I don't suppose we want too much technical data on the car stuff, but... Um, yeah. It's kind uh, of what I'll, it is, it is what it is, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll probably uh, buy some for my dad because he cleans his car uh, every week. You know? <laughs> I'm more of a every two months kind of guy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it, do, it does what it says on the tin. It does what yeah, it yeah. says on the tin. I haven't personally used it myself, but I do know my colleague. my colleagues used it and... Uh, and yeah, she she sings praises of it, so it's, it must do a good job. Good stuff. So um, you're in our group, so you know if there's any questions, I guess they can contact Bartline direct through like Facebook Messenger, perhaps. And you know what I found is good with you guys, and especially again speaking to Charles, is um, you know any sort of technical data or any projects they got coming up where they might need to strip off. Um, you know, there's been one recently, sort of some really old beams and stuff where paintwork had to be stripped. So I guess you guys can help out on a technical front as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're more than happy to, to send out some samples either through you, Gary, or, you know, the, to, do, to send out samples as, as safely as we can with GDPR and whatnot. Um, all for in return of a, a bit of feedback on, on how they got on with the products and maybe some photos and just an opinion. I think at this stage, that's all we're really after if you're yeah. looking to get samples out. <laughs> Good. We can't be any fairer than that, Charles. So brilliant. You um, Anything else to say? There's no questions as such. I mean, I believe we've we've covered kind of, you know, the main points in your 1876 range, which is, you know, aimed at like the professional painter and decorator. Any more to add, or are we are we all good? Uh, yeah, if, I mean, if if the like uh, like the guys have said, uh, we of course we've got 171 products. We cover everything from solvents, fillers, adhesive, uh, wood care. So we're a bit of a one stop shop, to be honest. And uh, all our products are made to a very very good quality. We private label for a lot of the big nationals. Uh, so uh, that that goes to say something. Uh, you know, that goes to say something about what what we do. Um, but I, I did forget to mention we do do also, so part of it is sealants, part of our 1876 range of sealants. I did, we did, we covered the decorator's cork, uh, which is available in 380 ml and uh, 310 ml. But we also do a range of hybrid polymer sealants, uh, sort of multi-surface sealants, which are paintable, um, paintable with 20% flexibility. And then we do a frame sealant, which has a 25% flexibility uh, to it. And then we have a, uh, a sanitary sealant which also has 25 percent flexibility and very good anti-mold properties so uh yeah we're a bit of a one-stop shop uh, if anyone wants any more information of course they can access our website uh if anyone's interested in sort of uh sort of you know stockists they can email info at barterline.co.uk uh, like i said i'm the regional sales manager for the south uh, and then we have uh, a sales rep for the north sandra um so yeah we're, we're out and about we're on the road uh you know, we're looking to work with uh, with the, the independents, the nationals, uh, wholesalers, distributors, uh, decorators, merchants, uh, builders, merchants, uh, and of course with the end users or the decorator. With that that being the decorator, the builder, the DIY, and the rest of uh, all our client and customer base uh, in mind. Yeah, it's brilliant. And <clears throat> again, what I like about you guys, uh, you know, you really want to, you know, get feedback and work with us sort of painters, you know, because we're in the kind of real world of using the products and that so that really comes across that you're you're that type of company which um you know wants to to build partnerships and, and work with people so exactly. and, I mean, we, 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 we we'll we'll take negative feedback as well it, it always works well you know if somebody's not happy with something if we can improve it we will do uh, we, we think it's as good as we can make it but if there's if there's an issue let's take a look and we need to know yeah, well, you guys have been around a long time, so you, you're doing something right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to yeah. think so. All right, Charles, Neil, and Ahmed, I really appreciate your time. Um, so it's recorded. I'll save it into the group as well. So it'd be um, we, we can reference back to it. So it's, um, 
yeah, I appreciate your time and I'll let you get back to your jobs. Thank you very much, Gary. All right. Cheers, everyone, and, and cheers for everyone watching as well. All right, you take care. Thank you. All the best. Take care. See you. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye -bye.